Okay, hey there YouTube. It's been a long time since I've made a video. Um, I usually use iMovie Maker, but I've been having problems with that, so I can't really edit right now. But this is a Steel MS-280. And uh, come through a friend of mine, and I guess the saw wouldn't stay running once the saw got hot. The first thing I assumed that would have been wrong with it was a gas tank vent. A spark plug or a coil well um, check the spark I've got spark the saw runs um, never really ran it enough to see if it was the coil but I did test the gas tank vent and that was not working once it got past I think 5 to 7 psi uh, it wasn't uh, no fumes or air work was coming out of the fuel tank vent so I ran the saw a few times. It ran really good. Uh, I actually cut a couple trees up with it, a friend of my, with a friend of mine, and I did one limb, and it did quit on me. Um, so I was thinking it would be a coil next. Uh, I messed around with the carburetor, had some problems with that. Also, uh, it's not the carburetor. Anyways, I decided I said, you know what? I never even looked at the cylinder. Let me see what the condition of the cylinder is. All right. And this is just something sometimes you forget. I obviously should have done this from the beginning. But if you look inside the cylinder here, we've got really bad scoring. Right? Typical exhaust scoring. And sometimes it's not the end of the world. The saw will still run. But if you look way back in the cylinder, this saw has... I can't even... Uh, probably can't get it but it's straight back there there's a big quarter inch or more three eighths section of scoring going up that diagonal side there and there's actually more on this side and that's typical of cold seizure that's when you do not let a chainsaw warm up and I didn't even check out the intake until I just got looking at it the other day or this morning actually and there's a humongous chunk taken right out of the piston here. But you can see that hole there. There's a chunk taken out of the piston and it's scored up on the intake side even more. This thing is totally trashed. Um, granted, it does have compression. Uh, and I'm going to assume, without even diving into this anymore, that this needs a complete rebuild that that may have been. It's probably a bearing that actually came loose out of the cage and got chomped by the piston and probably got sucked in and shot out. And there may even be damage up in the cylinder head if that part got flying around long enough. It might have just actually just went right out straight, but... Um, um, this is going to go for the to the junk pile. I'm going to put it back together and give it back and uh, kind of lesson learned just Do the first thing is you know, just check the cylinder uh, Make sure there's no scoring in it before you start dumping money into it like I did granted. It wasn't a lot but um, You know I fussed with the carburetor quite a bit and I bought a brand new fuel tank vent Which I shouldn't have even done uh, so that's where we're at on that saw, live and learn, and I hope this helps somebody. Take it easy. Bye.